Hello and welcome to the second half review of the Lego Batman uh, items from McDonald's. I can't really call these toys. Uh, last time we had a look at the red cup, the tin of uh, sticker sheets inside, as well as the 3D viewer, the Bat uh, Girl viewer. Uh, so this time there's something uh, very similar, I guess, just the second half stuff. Uh, again, there there are um, we call it there. There are two more items, just two more Bat mask items. But um, uh, they're, they're literally just plastic frames, one purple, one black, with the uh, sort of like bat ears. I'm not kidding, those. I, I'm not. Uh, so this time we have a yellow cup. Uh, so let's look at that first. Let's see. The focus a bit more, a bit better. There we go. So just like it's the exact same cup as the other one, except it's yellow and of course has a different image on there. Uh, so red and yellow, that's very Lego-y colors, so that's cool. Uh, you got Robin there, and you got like Catwoman, meow meow meow, and Batgirl swinging in, and is that the Joker car in the back? Yep, Joker car, Mobile in the back, and you got the Scuttler, the Riddler, and Batman in there somewhere, I'll Batman over there. Uh, so yeah, just stand the cup, it's, it's solid, it feels really good in the hand, it's got like a straw hole in there, and two more holes, so the... Um, so you're not sucking out the cup and squeezing it, not putting pressure on it, so it's alright. It's a very hefty cup, it's very thick and solid, and I'm squeezing it. So this is a very durable, very nice cup. So that's good, that's a nice cup that can go there. Uh, next we have the Batman tin, instead of the uh, Robin and Catwoman one from last time. So this is Batman and Batgirl. So we have a bad girl on one side, again, it's all 3D bumped, uh, bump and stuff, so it looks, feels like many fingers there. And the Batman one looking angry. Uh, the shape is, of course, a bit different to, to fit both of them in. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can open this up, of course, it's a tin. And instead of stickers this time, we get a big jigsaw puzzle thing going on, so let me just get that out. Uh, so the image on the puzzle is not bad. It, uh, it looks like it's a 4x3, uh, so 12 piece puzzle. And if you build any puzzles, jigsaw puzzles from like Kinder Eggs or something, uh, those are better. Uh, why? Because those are thick enough to actually hold together. Even this flat surface, if I just try to tilt it up a little bit, see it's already falling apart because this is really thin cardboard. Uh, it's not really that suitable for puzzling. So either glue this together or frame it up or something, it's gonna fall apart as easy as. Oh, look, there you go. It's gone. Finally, you have the bat viewer, which uh, the shape is a little bit different to the bat girl one, so that's cool. It's not exactly the same, but uh, the back piece is the same. It, this piece fits in both uh, both versions of the viewer, and because inside you have uh, <clears throat> three more three more three D cards with a white backing card as like security and stuff. So <clears throat> what you do here is you get one of these cards and you just stick slide them in on the back. Let's see, there we go. Come on, get it. And yep, yeah, it's just in there right now. And you can look at them, and just like the previous one, the 3D effect is actually pretty good. It, it looks really 3D and nice. So, uh, kudos to them. And I, I imagine maybe you can find images like this, like demo images like this online. Not not Lego Batman or anything, but I'm sure some like people upload 3D photos like these online, so you can add them, and have a view. So, between this and that, and the purple one, you have two 3D viewers. So, uh, that's cool. Anyway, so you got Batman Robin running here on one side. On this side, Batman standing up looking pretty cool. We have an image here with uh, Batman being alone. Um, yeah, that's that's not in the movie. Um, these some of these images are not, are not directly from the movie. Uh, this one is though, pretty sure. So. Uh, let's see which one's this one? Yeah, this one's this one is yeah that that uh, that lobster one was not from the movie from the movie. Uh, neither is this one. This one's not from the movie either. This scene does not actually happen. So, but the images are nice. So that's something. So there you go. So that's uh, apart from the two plasticky masks that are literally like these without the 3D stuff, just little plastic max. Uh, yeah, the uh, Lego Batman stuff uh, from McDonald's has been okay. Um, obviously, none of them were actually toys, but uh, they're more sort of promotional little cool-ish items that you can get. They're okay, they're not great, and um, 
Yeah, if you like Lego Batman, then these will be fun. I, I like the cups. Those are my favorite. Uh, the 3D effect on these are really good, but I don't really want to keep them. And the tins, well, they're not really that useful because they're so thin. Uh, they're novelty tins. You just look at them and go, oh, hey, that's pretty cool. But it's not something I'd say were really useful or great to keep. So, uh, so yeah, you can probably find some of these on eBay now uh, if, if your Lego stores... No, your McDonald's don't have them anymore. But uh, yeah, that's it for the review. They're, they're okay, not great. Uh, I kind of wish they were actually toys. That would have been nice. Like some of the Mario stuff. Those were really good. Uh, I kept a few of those, of course. So yeah, check those out. Subscribe to Jess and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Same bad time, same bad channel. Bye.